just play something, please? Here's an interesting thing that happened to me. See if you can work out what's going on. You can see my wife's lovely, lovely, lovely bass, as we call it, leaning up against an amplifier. That big black box next to the amplifier is a separate subwoofer type thingy bob through which the PA puts drums and bass. The chap on the drum kit, one of my friends, plays a few beats. Just play something, please. The sound wave from his drumming, probably the bass drum, acts as a driving frequency. Obviously, these sound waves drive our eardrums into vibration so we can hear the beat, but they also cause tiny vibrations in the strings on the bass guitar. If we look at a trace of the sound wave, we can see that there's a progressively increasing amplitude and hence volume. It's getting louder, in other words. The initial sound wave from the bass drum causes the strings on the bass to gently vibrate. Remember, driving frequency equals natural frequency at resonance. But then, the tiny sound from the strings is amplified through the PA, and hey presto, the amplified sound comes out through the big black bass bin as a driving frequency for the strings, making them resonate even more, which then causes a louder sound in the PA, which causes the strings to vibrate even more. Aha, Just play something. This is what we call feedback, Please. or more technically, a positive feedback loop. If left unchecked, the sound will grow louder and louder until the whole building goes into resonance and basically falls down, heralding the end of life as we know it. Seriously though, the feedback will only go as loud as the maximum level on the PA, which won't cause any structural damage to the building, but it's really going to annoy everyone, as the sound's going to be painful and potentially ear damaging too. Isn't physics just great?